Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to make a quick video talking about how narcissists steal wealth and money from children. Yes. That's right. Narcissists that steal wealth and money from children. Now before I get into the topic at hand. I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I do appreciate you joining my channel. And if you haven't clicked the little bell. Please do so. As this will alert you each and every time I make a new video. And if you are already subscribed. I thank you as well. Also don't forget to like and share this video. As this will help the chances of this video being seen by others that need this information. And if you want to support further. You can do so by the way of Patreon. And for those of you that are supporting already by the way of Patreon. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my cartoon heart. I really do mean it. You fantastic men and women are very kind. I really really do appreciate it. Now. On with the video. What do I mean when I say. Narcissists that steal wealth and money away from children. Well. As you notice today. I'm standing in the middle of a courtroom setting to as a point to that statement. You see. If you've ever watched a documentary on problems in our family court system. You will often hear a few people that are honest in such an industry. And make no mistake about it. It's an industry. They will say how the lawyers have jokes about how they are getting paid the child's college money. And the children are referred as to being money bags. You see in the western world. Divorce and fighting over children in family court is encouraged. Simply because it achieves the goal of breaking up the family unit. And it destroys a chance for a child to grow up in a stable home. And it also gives the state the ability to indoctrinate your children at an early age. Because they are more vulnerable to brainwashing or negative outside information. When they've gone through such hell as the family court system. But the other main thing that is gained by all of this is money. Yes. That's right money. And with all of the awareness out there for this person's rights and that person's rights. You never hear about rights for children. Unless it's lumped in behind women. As if women own their children like a handbag. I'm sorry to say that. Because I know there are a lot of good women on my channel. And I know you don't feel that way. But when you hear an abuse campaign on your car radio on the way to work. It mentions women and children. But in my opinion. It really is just referring to women but adding in children because it sounds good. That's just my opinion. Because here's the thing. If they really meant they are trying to fix the problem with children being abused. They would start right where I'm standing. And that's the family courtroom. You see. There's been a lot being pushed out there. Regarding abuse that is false. Because those of that grew up in narcissistically abusive homes. Realize that this abuse can come from either a man or a woman. Many of us grew up with our mother doing the abusing. Some grew up with their fathers doing the abusing. And some grew up with both their mother and father doing the abusing. And because there is so many different dynamics there and it might be a difficult problem to tackle. The best place to start with in regards to fixing children that are abused. Is right here in the family court system. And with the officials and lawyers that just use children as a way to buy another expensive car. Or vacation home. Or a means to send their children to the best colleges around the world. That's right. When you enter the family court system. They look at how much money can be extracted from either side. And usually the side that loses pays all the legal fees. So the side that is likely to win sees little risk to go to court to fight for outrageous amounts in support and the ability to take the family home. Now there are instances where full custody for one parent is warranted. But in my opinion. If joint custody with no to little support was the norm. You would see a lot of people making wiser choices with in regards to their family unit. As I've mentioned before in previous videos. There's a lot of propaganda being pushed on both men and women. With the end goal to totally mess them up. 
and one of the things that is pushed on women as I've mentioned before, is that divorce is easy. And it's something you just do. Let me give you an example. It's illegal to just randomly walk around and bop someone on the head just because you feel like it. There are consequences to those actions. And as a result, the average person doesn't walk around and do that. One because it's wrong. And secondly because there are consequences. Even though this world is starting to produce more violent people every day. We still by and large would have less of a likelihood to just randomly bop someone on the head. But now imagine you take away that consequence. And then on television there were shows promoting this type of behavior. After a while you would notice the behavior increase and increase. To the point it would take over society. Well. When we are dealing with family court and divorce. It's the same thing. Let's say you have a good woman for the most part. That is tempted by her boss to have an affair with him. When she has a husband and two children. And she has a demon on one shoulder telling her to do it and that she won't get caught. And then she has an angel on the other shoulder telling her it's wrong and that she ought not do this act. But then the demon jumps in and says. Even if you do get caught. You can just blame your reasons on your husband. You can go to court and get custody of your children almost for sure. And you will get the house. And you will get alimony. And child support. And even if things don't work out with your boss. You didn't date much in high school. So this is a good time for you to live the life you never got to live. Now. Again. I realize there are good women that get divorces every day from bad terrible men that are narcissists. But the example I just gave you is I believe the most common reason why women in our society are getting divorces. And why do I think that? Because it's promoted to be this way in the television shows that are targeted to brainwash women. Movies. Books. Novels. And magazines. And guess who likes all of this? The family court system and those that work in it that are just waiting for you to show up with your child's inheritance they can steal. And because the one parent that wins is thinking because the other party has to pay their legal fees. It's somehow free. When in reality it's not free. Because let's say. The party that has to pay. Has to pay your legal fees of $25,000 and his legal fees of $35,000. That's a total of $60,000. And we are talking low numbers here. There have been people that have paid a lot more than that. But in this case. $60,000 that is being taken away from a child's life. And no one is screaming this is child abuse. And the reason why is because they want your children's money. And this is the reason why there is trap after trap written into the system. So even if you try to opt out in this way or that way. There's usually another method to drag you into family court and destroy yours and your child's life. They talk about what is in the best interest of the child. And what more than likely is in the best interest is less court. You see. If both the mother and father were held equally accountable. And there were no more of these big payouts. So children can't be used as human lottery tickets. You would see both men and women thinking twice before having a committed relationship with each other and having children. And when they would enter into such relationship. And have children as a result. They would be more careful and work harder to do their best in such relationships. Shunning outside temptations. And feelings of wanting to relive their youth at the expense of others. Namely their children. Now would the family court be needed? Sure. In a limited capacity. And that's when either the mother or father isn't holding up their end of the bargain. And even then. Support payments aren't huge lump sums. But what is actually needed for support of a child. So there is no more incentive to run out and have a child. Thinking that a big support check will follow. Because it won't. People. You see. Though many are saying. I'm not going to have a relationship. Or I'm not going to have children. Or whatever. 
there are still people out there that have children right now. And they are in such a relationship. And because of the system set up the way that it is. Children one right after another are being used as human lottery tickets. Not only by some of the parents. But most importantly. By the lawyers and those that run the family court system. This must stop. And I urge anyone with skills at making short movies or films. Or commercials. Please make one with this topic in mind. Please show the horrors and pain that go along with such a evil process. And show how it steals the wealth from such a child. And as a result sets this child up for future failures. Because it just makes my stomach turn when I hear about abuse this and abuse that. And here we see children being treated like an accessory in all of that. Which is narcissistic abuse. Because that's what narcissists do. They treat their children like extensions of themselves. Or mere accessories. It's time the world see the face of what child abuse is. Not the Hollywood version. Not the version they want us to see. But the multi-layered version of abuse that encompasses many things. And one of those things is trauma by the way of the family court system. And stealing a child's future wealth as a result. This is real important stuff people. It really is. So please pass this video to everyone you know. So we can bring attention to this problem. With that said. Let's also continue to pray for wisdom. Let's continue to pray for strength. And let's continue to pray for courage. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.